I saw some whales yesterday. I'll insert the video clip here. Skin was uh, tingling, goosebumps, hair standing on end. That was awesome, absolutely awesome close encounter. This is like the next phase for me. Uh, I want to panel that wall where necessary and then build the carcass around the fridge. Now, in panelling that wall, I know that the wall is out of square from the front wall by the thickness of that stud. So if I put a straight line on the wall in that corner and then on the stud in this corner, that will make that wall squared to that wall the only downside with that is it brings the fridge out an extra 35 mils from the wall but I think I will do it a because it's the right thing to do and B because when I go to marrying things up on this wall here between top cupboards and bottom cupboards and whatever else you know things the way things fit together it'll make it a lot easier if everything is square so i'm going to put some lats on the wall first three lats and then i can put my sheeting on that you may have seen me use this bad boy in the bathroom project it's a nail gun, an actual exploding powder nail gun. Cost about $50 with some nails. And then today I got in the mail, four bags of new nails cost me about $50. There's 40 in each bag. And I got two different sizes. So I'm gonna use some of these today. Better go warn the dogs. I love this. <coughs> I love the smell of good powder in the bar. <coughs> right now, I'll just do some blocking in behind that.
Yep, good. over here I'm leaving open so that the fridge can breathe Chandler and I have done a couple of hours off camera uh, I'll catch you up a bit uh, all the wall paneling is done uh, the fridge bit is done got a thing on top next thing I'm going to do is put the high cupboard on the back wall there and uh, Chandler is not real happy <laughs> he's quivering he doesn't like my nail gun I just got a message I gotta go somewhere to pick something up
anyway, we had a client consultation again last night and this didn't meet approval and I agree with them. So what we've decided to do is make it central with open shelves either side and bring it forward but just looking at it now that space there isn't really huge so if you divide that in half there'll be tiny shelves either side but because these ones over here are in the corner they may be wasted so maybe I'll push it all the way over that side and have wider shelves on this side. Maybe that's the goal. Might have to have another consultation, I think. So consultation had, agreement reached, and that cover there is moving across and out a bit. In three, two, one, ta da! Easy as that. Now it just so happens I've got this spare carcass. Which could go there. It might be a bit too deep. But I can trim it, I would think. Uh, yeah, I might have to cut it down a bit, but that'll work out nicely for the side shelves. So they're all up there, pretty plumb and square and solid, not going anywhere, unlike me, because this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't, give me a thumbs up anyway. And I'll catch you on the next video. Say that again. Wow. Don't pull that open. Look what this is, Jared. It's a boo pole to rock work. For sure, people. Mm. Looks fine to me. Yeah. <laughs>
fancy. Do you know what should go in there?